Now, we're going to discuss about acceleration. You may heard many times about the acceleration when any vehicle is in motion. For example, like a car. When the car driver is driving the car under his feet, or you can say under his foot, there are three pedals. Clutch, accelerator and brake in this order. Now see the center pedal, accelerator. So what it is used for? If you observe it, if the driver wants to increase the speed, he press on the accelerator. If you want to decrease the speed, where he press? It's a common sense. He press on the brake button, brake pedal. So when he press on the accelerator pedal, the car increases speeds and moves faster. So we should know that what is actually acceleration. Acceleration is not speed. Acceleration is a different thing. What is it? See here. A vehicle moving with initial velocity u. u represents initial velocity. Okay, let me write here. u is initial velocity. v is final velocity. t time taken. U is initial velocity, V is final velocity, is T is time taken. Always use the symbols for the same thing. Initial velocity, wherever you go in physics, it is U. Final velocity is V. Okay, now what is acceleration defined as? Acceleration defined as change in velocity divided by time taken. See how simple the definitions are. Change in velocity by time taken. So, change in velocity means what you say. Is it u plus v or v plus u or v minus u? Yes. Whenever we say change, always need to take from initial value, need to be subtracted from final value. Or I can say final minus initial. So, it is v minus u divided by t. This is acceleration formula. A equal to v minus u by t. Now, what is the unit? Yes. CG is the unit. See, V minus U in the numerator, you have velocity. So, that unit is centimeter per second divided by second. So, it is centimeter divided by second square. Now, what is SI unit? Centimeter SI is meter, meter per second square. So, remember this unit. Do not be confused with meter per second, meter per second square. Meter per second is for velocity or speed meter per second square is for acceleration. Acceleration tells you whether the car is moving faster, whether the car is moving slower because it is change in velocity by time. It depends upon change in velocity. A equal to V minus U by T is the formula. Now, coming to this numerical, let me explain you more in detail of acceleration. See this numerical. The car actually is at rest 0 meters per second means no speed no speed means a rest state at time t equal to 0 when the time increases at 2 seconds it is a, a at the speed 5 meters per second at 3 seconds it is the speed 10 meters per second then what is its acceleration if i ask you what is its acceleration yeah so how do we ask first of all i need to say from 0 to 2 seconds what is the acceleration of the car? Okay. When time t equal to 0 seconds to 2 seconds, what is the acceleration of the car? So, acceleration is v minus u by t. So, v minus u by t, v is 0 to 2 seconds, 0 to 2. The v is final velocity 5, initial velocity 0. The time interval is 2 seconds. I can say 2 minus 0. So, you will get 5 by 2 which is 2.5 meters per second square. So, the acceleration of the car from 0 to 2 seconds is 2.5 meters per second square. That is the acceleration. Okay. Now, coming to the second diagram. See the car here? If you see the two diagrams, in the second diagram, t equal to 0, 2 seconds, 3 seconds, 4 seconds, if you see the speed, 0 meters per second, 5 meters per second, 4 meters per second, 1 meters per second. So, what's happened second diagram? Speed is decreasing 0, 5, 4, 1. In the first diagram, speed is increasing. 
when the speed is increasing we can say the car is accelerating when the speed increases the change in velocity also increases if the speed increases uniformly the change in velocity increases uniformly so in the first diagram which says when the speed is increasing the car is accelerating but in the second diagram the speed is decreasing then what we say we say car is accelerating yes you can say but you can say car is negatively accelerating or you can say car is decelerating let me show you here now take the example from t equal to 2 seconds to 3 seconds in the second diagram asked what is the acceleration from 2 seconds to 3 seconds yes you take a equals to v minus u by t so in 2 seconds to 3 seconds the final velocity is 4 so 4 initial velocity is 5 5 time is 3 minus 2 so 4 minus 5 minus 1 by 3 minus 2 1 so this is minus 1 meters per second square see here acceleration a equals to v minus u by t and from 2 seconds to 3 seconds the v is 4 u is 5 so 4 minus 5 divided by 3 minus 2 so you, you are getting minus 1 meters per second square here the acceleration is negative negative accelerations tells you that the speed is or the velocity is decreasing so that's why it is called of course we say negative acceleration but it's also called deceleration see the spelling carefully d e c c e l l e r a t i o n deceleration sometimes it is also called retardation so which word you feel easier use that word so this is retardation now if i go from uh, 4 meters per second to 1 meters per second what is the acceleration tell me use this formula tell me the acceleration and i'm sure that you'll get again negative value so negative accelerations are nothing but retardations and this, in this case speed decreases positive acceleration speed increases let us do two problems based on acceleration there is a bus this bus started its motion with velocity 80 kmph and gets its velocity to 60 kmph after 5 seconds then what is its acceleration this is the question now as you know that acceleration a is a v minus u by t final minus initial divided by time taken the final is 60 kmph initial is 80 kmph by divided by time if you see here 60 minus 80 minus 20 by 5 but remember this is 20 kmph by 5 seconds now kmph we couldn't leave in that way you need to convert it to meters per second and i have told you the conversion so kilometer per hour can be converted if you multiply with 5 by 18 to convert into meters per second divided by 5 seconds meters per seconds if you want to convert into meters per seconds now if you simplify this the answer you get minus 1.11 meters per second square that is the acceleration and if you see it is negative so it is retardation the bus reducing its speed is retardation see the second problem if there is a train starts at rest reaches to speed 40 kmph in time 10 minutes what is its acceleration at rest means you should know always initial velocity is zero right then the acceleration a equals to again v minus u by t final velocity is 40 kmph 40 minus initial velocity 0 and time taken is 10 minutes so here also you need to convert everything into meters per second so 40 kmph if you convert it you need to multiply by 5 by 18 which is meters per second divided by 10 minutes 1 minute equals to 60 seconds so total seconds are 600 seconds so if you simplify this you'll get the answer 0 0.0185
meters per second square. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.